Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending what time you're watching us. My name is Alex Salinas, and this is your show, College Bound Hounds. Buenos días, buenas tardes, o buenas noches, dependiendo cuando nos están viendo. Este programa se llama Greyhounds a Rumbo Colegio. Mi nombre es Alejandro Salinas. Thank you all so much for joining us. This is our fourth episode, so I do want to thank KSBG and the entire crew for doing a great job. Este es nuestro cuarto episodio, so muchísimas gracias a KSBG y todo el equipo. And uh, this information is all about you, families. This show is all about students, giving you early awareness, giving you dates, important events coming up. So thanks again for joining us. Today, we have two special guests joining us today, talking about their great program. We have Mr. Orozco and Ms. Uh, Perez. I'm going to have them introduce themselves. Mr. Orozco. Thank you, Mr. Salinas, for having us today. I'm Juan Orozco. I have been in the education field now for 15 years, 11 years with San Benito, and five years with the Giro Grant. Wow, good. Ms. Perez. Um, hello, Mr. Salinas. Thank you for having us today. I've been with uh, the district for 11 years now. This is my fifth year with the Gear Up Grant. Um, I worked at the high school as a teacher prior to being in the Gear Up program. And um, we're really excited to be here. Thank okay. you for having us. Gear Up is, uh, I'm going to be a little biased. I love Gear Up because I used to work with Gear Up many, many years ago when I was in college, right? I was a Gear Up mentor. So when I heard that Gear Up was coming to San Benito High School, I was like, wow, this is great. This is much needed in the district. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for, thank having, for having us. Us. So tell us about what Gear Up, what it does, what it entails, and what is there, the purpose of Gear Up. The purpose of Gear Up is to work with students that have been uh, misrepresented. I guess we could say, so, uh, low socioeconomic uh, status. We target students that, uh, maybe a lot of them are first generation students that were gonna attend college. So it's, been, it's a federal program that goes on for seven years, starting with the students in seventh grade, and we follow them through their first year of college. So we follow them every year from campus to campus, c continue guiding them and helping them to one day uh, get a, pursue a career in, a, say, the military or some type of certificate or a college degree. Not every student is college bound, so we have students that can go to a trade school, can even go to the military, right? Correct. correct. So, uh, Ms. Ms. Perez, uh, para los, las familias que hablan español, ¿puedes hablar sobre el programa Gear Up y qué es lo que hace y, y el propósito del, del programa, por favor? Claro que sí. El propósito del programa de Gear Up es ayudarle a nuestros estudiantes. Ahorita estamos siguiendo a los estudiantes que están en grado 11. Los hemos seguido desde que estaban en grado 7 y los vamos a seguir hasta su primer año de colegio. El programa eh, nos ayuda o nos guía a nosotros a guiar a los estudiantes mm -hmm. para que puedan ellos ser exitosos en sus metas mm -hmm. que tengan después de salir de high school, sea carrera, sea colegio, sea una certificación o sea una carrera eh, militar que ellos es, escojan. Entonces, desde siete grados están con ustedes. Sí. So, no hay excusas. No. So, Orozco, there's no excuse. They've been no, with sir. you since seventh grade. Since seventh grade. Right? So, and that's what's good because you build a rapport. They've known you since seventh grade at BC, at Riverside, at Miller Jordan, and now they're at the high school. Correct. So, there's no excuses. So, now, in case there's a family out there or a student, well, I don't know the process of going to college. I don't know about financial aid. No sé qué hacer con ayuda financiera. No sé qué hacer para aplicar. Well, guess what? Gear Up has been there since seventh grade. Correct. Right? Correct. Nuestras puertas están abiertas para nos est nuestros estudiantes. Este, nuestras oficinas están uh, junto con el College and Career mm -hmm. Center ahí en la high school. Este, solo nuestros estudiantes saben cómo encontrarnos para preguntarnos y así los podemos seguir mm -hmm. viendo. Now, I'm going to be a little biased. Gear Up, uh, I used to work for Gear Up many, many years as a, uh, when I was in college as a Gear Up mentor. So I'm familiar with the program. I believe in the program. You know, hashtag you know, Gear Up Works. So thank you for what you do for our students and our families. So let's talk about some of the programs that you do. I think you all had some great parent uh, workshops coming up, or you had some. Talk about the parent workshops, Mr. Little School. What, what are some that you've had, and what are some that are coming up so our parents that are watching that are part of this cohort can look forward to? This year, our focus with our parent meetings and our parent programs was to tie our higher ed campuses, which we're, right now we're working a lot with TSTC, and our high school CTE programs and our parents and students. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing in our meetings, for example, tomorrow we have a welding meeting. We're going to have a meeting with our welding department, our CTE welding department, and we're going to showcase some of the students' work there that they have at the CTE department at the high school. But we're also bringing in TSTC and the TSTC welding department to come in and have a, a talk with the parents and so they can uh, see what TSTC offers and see how the student can continue their welding career, if that's what they choose, at TSTC and so they can see the path you know, we can make it as simple as we can just to transition from the high school to TSTC by already starting the conversations with the TSTC 
uh, administration, TSTC professors, and TSTC campus. It's never too early to start looking to into start, college, right? Correct. So the, you're bringing TSTC to them, to them versus them going. Correct. ¿verdad? What other things, uh, Ms. Perez, uh, other programs de padres, ¿qué han, qué han hecho con los padres uh, durante estos años con ellos? ¿Qué, qué más han hecho con ellos? Nuestra meta es no nada más informar a, su, a nuestros estudiantes, pero también a nuestras familias, a nuestros padres. Este, y una de las maneras que hacemos eso es tener juntas um, para poder introducir a nuestros padres a los programas y que tenemos en la high school para sus estudiantes. Esta no, nuestra meta es que los padres sepan uh -huh. los intereses de sus hijos, así los puedan apoyar después de que salgan de la escuela. Este, mañana tenemos una junta, este, estamos trabajando con el colegio aquí local, um, TSTC, uh -huh. uh, el programa de soldadura, soldadura va a venir uh -huh. mañana este, a presentar el programa que tienen ellos en el colegio y así nuestros estudiantes pueden saber este, qué es lo que pueden esperar si ellos se registran en ese colegio a estudiar, uh, a seguir estudiando ese programa. Sí. Y lo que me gusta más es están incurriendo los padres. Correcto. Nosotros sabemos que los padres es muy importante, el factor es importante tener los padres involucrados en todo el proceso. Así Correcto. que este programa también se enfoca en los padres. Correcto. Y hoy en día es importante que la familia, los padres también estén en esas decisiones, ¿verdad? Así que me da mucho gusto que este programa se dedica uh, a estos workshops, estas sesiones, no más para los padres, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. And we do have opportunities for other parents to get involved. Every, every year, every month, every two months, Edinburgh Region 1, Gear Up, We hold parent meetings to educate our parents, for example, on uh, how to better help your student write his college essay. Okay. The last one we had was in La Feria. We probably had about 80 parents from around the valley gathering together, and they had a guest speaker come in and educate parents on little tips on how to help students with their college essays. Oh. So they're always trying to educate student, uh, parents also so they could help their student at home. And I think one session was also money matters, right? Money financial matters, literacy. Financial, right, correct. Guys, nowadays it's important to make sure that our kids understand the importance of investing in finance and right. budgeting, right? Spending, so that's important. Yes. So I wish someone would have told me that many, many years ago, right? Correct, correct. And it's an important year for them to know that because um, it's the year that they decide where they may want to go to school. So how much is that going to cost us? And what's the long-term effect of that cost? One thing that I saw a couple of months ago, or last month, I'm sorry, you all had a very successful college fair, mm -hmm. Correct. right? I'm sorry, uh, I, I take it back, a career fair. Career fair. It, mm -hmm. Colleges were involved, but it was mainly focused on the careers. Now, this is important because a lot of these students have never been exposed to these careers. Correct. So you're bringing these careers to San Benito High School where the students were allowed to go and speak to these representatives. So talk about who was there, Mr. Orozco, what, what are some of the agencies, organizations, and careers that were there that students got exposed to? We had about 38 different agencies and uh, higher ed campuses like uh, UTRGV, TSC, TSTC were there. We had Apple came in and was showing some of the kids on their, uh, showing some of the new virtual reality stuff that Apple has. We had the Border Patrol come in and talk to the students about the opportunities Border Patrol currently has. Uh, military was there. Uh, military has a big following. They had a lot of kids out there with them. We had some insurance agencies here. We've had, uh, we had TSTC brought about six or seven different departments. Uh, we've had a, uh, a home health agency. We had a local entrepreneur that uh, has started his own business, has a successful yard business. So we try to target all levels, you know, of careers from the, from maybe the, the career that might not take so much investment or so much education, but a lot of opportunity Correct. compared to a, maybe a lawyer, doctor. So we want to get A&M, the UTs down here also. So we try to give a little bit of a, a, a wide variety of careers and opportunities. Tuvieron una feria bien exitosa que se llamaba el, el, un career fair, ¿verdad? Ms. Pérez, ¿puedes hablar de estas familias de qué, qué partes o qué organizaciones vinieron y qué, qué representantes de negocios también vinieron para hablar con los estudiantes ese día? Claro que sí. Este, cuando tenemos eh, estos uh, programas para los estudiantes, uh, tratamos de traer este, empresas que, que de todo tipo de negocio. Eh, tuvimos a Valley Baptist Health Systems aquí, este, colegios como TSTC, um, esta vez hasta tuvimos una funeraria venir a presentar para ah, los sí. estudiantes porque hay mucha oportunidad de trabajo en ese, en ese sector. Um, tuvimos um, uh, organizaciones de um, law enforcement aquí como Border Patrol, um, the, the Sheriff's, Sheriff's Office, Office. 
Uh, tuvimos el departamento de bomberos también. de San Benito aquí también. So, tenemos uh, re representación de, de, del nivel de gobierno uh, local este, y hasta unas um, uh, compañías perdón, que uh, no, no se toma mucha educación para trabajar en ese, en ese sector de trabajo. And I know they're showing some pictures right now as we're talking about all the, the organizations that showed up. Again, we had it inside the indoor facility, Correct. beautiful facility. Correct. Yes. I think our organizations representatives loved being there. Mm -hmm. They got to see that firsthand, our beautiful multi-purpose indoor facility. But again, it was a great event. All the juniors took advantage that were here that day. We took them during the day, and mm -hmm. they, they got a chance to explore and ask questions. Correct. And talk about it being a multi-purpose facility when we used it to bring those opportunities to our students. So I want to thank uh, our athletic director, Dan Gomez, for allowing that as well, Correct. and our principal, Correct. Mr. Sassi, for allowing us to do that. So again, a lot of great things. So let's talk about real quickly about some upcoming events that Gear Up is, uh, unos eventos que Gear Up está haciendo para este, quizás este próximo uh, mes o el verano que viene, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y más o nada, los, los oportunidades para el año que viene del 12 grados. So let's talk about what are some events that are happening in Gear Up. Well, like tomorrow, we're going to have the, tomorrow everybody's invited, 5.30 to 7 at the CTE welding department at the high school. We will have, we'll have TSTC there, uh, you know, again, talking about their programs. But in the summer, we're also looking at doing some summer uh, essay camps. We've got to start writing essays for scholarships, start resumes, complete the resumes. And then, uh, God willing, you know, at the beginning of next year, we've got to start applying for college. So we'll start doing some college drives, get some colleges down here in the summer so the students can make connections with those colleges they would like to attend. Ms. Perez, ¿puedes hablar sobre los programas que van a hacer este verano o el mes que viene y más que nada lo, lo que van a hacer para los estudiantes de ese programa Gear Up? Claro que sí. Este, el día 15 de uh, abril, que va a ser un sábado, vamos a tener un workshop para que los estudiantes puedan escribir sus ensayos mm. este, de los de las temas para las aplicaciones que necesitan en Apply Texas. Este, que son las solicitudes para sus um, aplicaciones de, de colegio. Ese mismo día también vamos a llevar a unos estudiantes a South Texas College. Uh, van, vamos a invitar a unos estudiantes a que vayan a hacer un cybersecurity, um, un entrenamiento de cybersecurity, que también es uh, un sector de trabajo que es caliente ahorita, mu mucha sí. oportunidad en eso. Um, abril 20 vamos a tener junto con ah, usted sí. este, un um, college, fair college fair para nuestros estudiantes de grado 12 que va a ser en la tarde para que los padres también puedan claro atender. Sí. Este, y le damos gracias a usted, claro, Mr. Sí. Salinas, sí. por sí. invitarnos. Este, y luego, mayo 16, vamos a tener algo muy especial ahí en la high school. Um, uh, Mr. Orozco ha trabajado muy duro con uh, comunicarse con el colegio um, Texas State. Technical College, College TSTC, TSTC sí, sí. Este, aquí localmente, y vamos a tener un showcase de TSTC para nuestros estudiantes allí, este, para que puedan nosotros traerlos todos los programas que ellos tienen allí a nuestros estudiantes mm -hmm. para que sepan la oportunidad que tienen aquí localmente. Wow. So all these programs and all these parent sessions and everything that you take our kids to college trips and whatnot, how much does this cost to our students and families? It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost anybody anything. Parents, we just had a parent uh, during spring break go visit some colleges with his son in uh, the Midwest. They paid absolutely nothing. Wow. Um, fee, uh, transportation, lodging, any conferences we take kids to, uh, anything, it's free. It's so, free. todo, Ms. Pérez, ¿cuánto les cuesta a los estudiantes, a las familias, Ms. Pérez? No les cuesta absolutamente nada. El programa levanta todos los gastos uh, que hay incluidos cuando los llevamos a un taller para los estudiantes, a un taller para los padres. Este, nada más nos necesitamos a nuestros estudiantes y a nuestros padres ahí y el programa cubre todos los gastos. No excusas, ¿verdad? No todo excusas. está incluido, así que no se tienen que preocupar. No, no tengo dinero para esto, así que sabes que todo está pagado por Gear Up. So, Correcto. Muchísimas gracias. I know this is a region one. Es uh, dinero del federal, así que le damos gracias a nuestro uh, a gobierno, ¿verdad? Que nos ayuda con esa asistencia. So, wow, that's claro good to know. This is great to know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When we come back, we're going to go over some news that you can use. There's a lot of important deadlines and events that are coming up, so we'll be back.
Welcome back to College Bound Hounds. Bienvenido una vez más al programa de Greyhounds a Rumbo Colegio. Before I leave, I want to go over some important events that are coming up, some important uh, dates as well. Antes de que me vaya, quiero darles información de uh, eventos que van a venir y fechas de límites para que sepan. First of all, for all my seniors who have not started and or completed their financial aid, we have two financial aids left. Para los todos los estudiantes del grado 12, si acaso no han terminado el, la aplicación de FAFSA, quiero que sepan que tenemos dos noches, uh, nos faltan dos noches más. We have our first night April 5th and April 19th. Los próximos noches de uh, ayuda financiera es el miércoles abril 5 y abril 19. So padres, estudiantes, si acaso no han venido a comenzar la aplicación de FAFSA, por favor vengan al centro de colegio ahí en San Benito y le vamos a ayudar. So once again, seniors, if you have not done your financial aid, come by the college center from 5 to 7 p.m. on either April 5th or April 19th and we're going to help you. Next, we have our, for seniors that are applying for local scholarships, we made that application available to you seniors. So make sure that you go online, go to your Google Classroom or visit our website. Again, seniors, this is the time that you should be applying for a lot of scholarships. And we have over 20 local scholarships that you should be able to apply to. The deadline to submit everything is April 13th, so make sure you do that very soon. Uh, padres, estudiantes, si acaso no han aplicado para becas, quiero que sepan que tenemos la aplicación locales y esa fecha de límite es abril 13. So, por favor, quiero que hagan esto lo más pronto posible. Vayan al centro de colegio y ganen asistencia, pero todo está por internet. So, estudiantes, becas, becas, becas. April 13, abril 13 es la fecha de límite para entregar esa aplicación. And finally, for our dual enrollment students, we have two different sets. We have students that are VMA. VMA students, if you are applying or looking into uh, dual enrollment for this coming fall 2023, the deadline for you to submit everything is April 21st. That is a Friday. So Friday, April 21st, all my ninth graders, VMA students, if you want to take college student enrollment classes, everything is due Friday, April 21st. For my high school students, for my 11th and 10th graders, if you want to continue uh, start or perhaps start taking, uh, make sure that you submit the student enrollment packet. It's available in the College Center or you could download it on the website. The deadline for you to submit everything is April 20th. Remember, seniors and also, I'm sorry, juniors, sophomores, and even my ninth graders, you have to take the TSI exam. We have the TSI exams available to you Monday through Thursday from 5 to 6.30 uh, inside the high school and also on Saturdays from 8 to 2. So we make, uh, for my high school students, we have these TSI uh, sessions for you. And finally, we have our last event that we like to make you aware of. It's our college fair. Thursday, April 20th, we're calling all of our 11th graders and 10th graders and even 9th graders. Stop by inside the San Benito High School Library from 5.30 to 7 p.m. We have over 20 universities coming. We even have the military. Right now we have the Army, we have the Navy, we have the Marines confirmed. We have schools such as UT Austin, Texas A&M, Texas A&M Corpus Christi, Texas A&M Kingsville, UTRGV, Texas Tech, UT San Antonio, just to name a few. But we also have the local universities, right? The colleges, TSTC, Texas Almost College. So we're calling all of our undergraduate students to come by. La última cosa que les quiero informar los padres y estudiantes que tenemos una feria de colegios. El jueves abril 20, de 5 media a 7, ahí en la biblioteca de la high school. Por favor, vengan, tenemos todos, muchos colegios, universidades, también tenemos los militares. Por favor, vengan. Thank you all so much for taking the time to tune in with us. Uh, muchísimas gracias a los padres y estudiantes que nos están viendo. Until then, students and families, take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. And remember, hounds are college bound. Thank you.